But here we are, the next stage. So, the Gargantia fleet currently sucks because um, Captain Flange took his little bit away and Lovelock is dead. And Ridget is finding that none of the other captains trust someone as young as her. Um, at least from within the fleet. Uh, Tessa um, trusts her a lot. Um, but she's here as a Zet Blue's emissary to announce uh, that Gargantia fl face a new menace with all the bugs and shit. And while we'll do everything in our power to help, Ridget is going to have to shoulder some of that herself. And then Ridget's like, I can't do it. I'm too young and garbage. So Tessa asks Ridget how old um, she is. And she says, I'm 17. And I wasn't um, made the captain of the Too Hard Day Nine yesterday. And while she is obviously an exception among uh, Zet Blue, um, and by her own admission, she's dependent on. Uh, so yeah, she says she's so dependent on others, it's a miracle she made it up the steps to this room without twisting her ankle. Um, and definitely forget about her ever using a gun with her own hands. But her strength comes principally not from her special abilities, but from her comrades. And she knows, like, she can use them to get help. She knows she's got help. And Bella's is like, that's right, Ridgie, you got the same. Delegate, lady. And uh, Bellows uh, talks about her first try as being a salvage master, and uh, it didn't go too good, um, despite or more likely because she was over enthusiastic. And she says, "What a leader of people must learn is how to do enough, and uh, how to turn uh, to those around for help and support." Uh, just as Fairlock did with Rigid, he turned to her as an advisor, and uh, even though she may not have realised it, Bellows is sure that she's up to the job, even if Rigid isn't too convinced. Meanwhile, at Kurgle's fleet. So, these guys are rolling out the red carpet for Flange and Pinion, hoping that they'll come under the gods' teachings. And Honor Daria says, anyone who um, refuses the teachings of the god um, suffer God's wrath. And as a show of faith, um, Splash. What the hell's going on? He's like, oh yeah, we're just throwing some people into the water with their hands and feet down, so they're gonna drown. They're dead. Like, they just died. And she says, they're sacrifices to a higher calling. And Flange, super scared, um, bows and receives a blessing in the name of Kurgle. And uh, Pinion is like, well, and then Onodaria tells Pinion to come to the main shrine in two hours time to assist one of the gods as it prepares to venture forth. And look, it's Rackage hanging out. Um, and Pinion's like, what the hell are you doing here? And Rackage says uh, that she snuck aboard to gather information. Uh, she's going to go back to being a pirate and she, see, and, uh, she wants to see this fleet sunk as soon as possible because it could be a problem in the way of that and Pinion isn't so much interested in helping a stinking pirate until he finds out that these guys are going to be attacking the Gargantia fleet and now he's like oh wait that's bad they're my friends that we can't really help them do that actually that's bad but then Lado's starting to have doubts about Kurgle because uh, he says he's deliberately uh, keeping himself uh, cooped up in the cockpit because um, of his virus and uh, it seems like him being in the big robot all the time means that nobody can get him ever so it's better for him to oppress the people um, throwing people in the water is just uh, another fear tactic and uh, it's justified if you believe his goal of establishing a new unified aura that he says uh, order but you know I mean it's not brilliant, he's just murdering people, just throwing him in the sea to die. And then... Kurgle calls Lado up and gives him a little pep talk, he's like, Hell yeah, we're gonna attack the Gargantua fleet. Chamber, connect all that blue, right? It's gonna be good, are you ready to go? You're gonna have a good time? And, uh... His order is to join the attack, and do it. Because he's, he's his boss and he's gotta do it, and it's for the best. Then he hangs up, he's like, dang it. The hideous of people, and now they're going to attack Amy and Babel. I don't like it. And then Chamber says um, that 
their order is to attack, but the decision is uh, Lado's. Like he gets final say whether they go or not, and then Lado says, "Damn, I may never have had to actually ever decide anything in my life until this point." Um, he wants to know if uh, Kogel's forces can actually take down Gargantia, and Chamber speculates that they probably can. Um, he says he can um, designate Kogel's striker as an enemy if asked, but. Um, they do ask if he can beat Striker, and um, Chambers says uh, that that's beyond his abilities as a support AI to predict. So Lado is like, dang it, I'm going to give it a go anyway. And then Pinion walks up, so he opens the hatch and lets that boy in, and it's time for a little chat. So, Kurgle announces to everybody it's time for another crusade, a holy war, to show the world the might of the will of God. And then, Lado steps up and is like, what are you doing here? Um, but, Lado has had enough of blind obedience to his uh, former commander's words, and uh, the idea that this world is inhabited by humans, and thus falls under Alliance law, is nothing but a flimsy excuse for destroying the world that these people have made for themselves. But obviously, Lado is not really one for negotiating and good with words, so he calls Chamber and they're gonna have a good fight. And this is um, the future of the green ocean. And Pinion's modifications um, to Chamber are worth about a 20% improvement in combat strength. Which is good, because here comes Striker and a bunch of his fellas. Yeah, he's out. So he's like, later I'm going to fight you, Kurgle. He's like, let's go, you can't stop me, you can't beat me. But he's got some friends. And then the Blamo. What the heck? And there's Pinion was like, hey dude, check it out! I got a new gun, it's a beam rifle, check it out, it's good. And um his wreckage. Which he comes murders a bunch of dudes. Queen of the Sea's like, that's right, it's me. So Rackage um, says that she and Companion can handle the ground forces, which means Lado's, Lado's got to take down the false god. And the SR point is clear the map within seven turns and have at least one pilot with five kills. Sure. He's got a beam rifle, he's got a gun, he's got a new move! Let's check it out! Alright, he's got a gun. Brilliant. He did it. But again, note that he's got another upgrade that isn't a new f finishing move. It's almost as strong as his current finisher and it's cheaper, but I mean, you know. Weird, right? Wreckage, I'm the great pi yeah, I'm the great pirate wreckage, and you've made a serious mistake if you thought I'd play your game for long. This lobster's been upgraded with those guys' stuff. Come here and have a taste of what it can do. <laughs> I 
It's <laughs> Space Boys. Come on, let's go. Show you my nice power. お前なら私の敵ではないわスクラップにしてピニオンへの土産にしてあげますわ。ありがとうスクラップにおなりなさい。ラブレオロブスター。<笑> ロブスターの異名は伊達ではありませんわよ。私に狙われたのが運の尽きですわ。Okay, I guess wreckage is getting five bobs. So his chamber, it'd be difficult to secure combat superiority against this target. Recommend you apply hit and run tactics and focus on the enemy's head section. I'm not trying to kill the colonel. Warning, the enemy's unit maneuverability exceeds that of this frame. And then, Kurgle, it is with rationality that the weak and strong support each other. Such is the essence of humanity. Isn't that right, Lado? This hasn't anything to do with who's weak or strong. Everyone's alive. They're all their own people. Good.我々の正義に変わりはない。どこに逃げても無駄だ。お前、ジャスティス。全弾受け取れ。軽々と。戦いをやめてください。I
レド少尉が成果を獲得することを期待するもとよりそのつもりだここで止める抵抗を続けるかレドCast love. 150 juice. Let's see what we have here. Get with the beam rifle, dude. Got it. Red. Useful material. Sad. に肩をつける前段発射シルサAnd there's Kurgle. Yeah, so. Uh, it appears to have been dead for some time, and Strikers just pop it in him. Kogo's dead, so Striker's like, yep, that's right, I'm the one, I'm the master I'm behind all of it. And Striker has just got to get this massive force of side roll dudes. There they are, slam up. Just like, damn, the dude's dead, and Striker has just been pretending to be him all this time. He's like, yep, I control all of these guys, because I'm a cool AI. It's like, dang it, this is bullshit. And then, uh oh, in the area, what is it? Uh, it appears to be a tiny glider? Hey, look! It's Amy on a little tiny glider. Amy is like, I'm gonna help, later, I'm gonna help you out. It's like, so all you gotta do is come back, dude. All you gotta do is come back. Yeah. Wait, you're right, yeah! Spawn! Except I don't think he killed him. I don't, I don't think Striker killed him, I think he just died. When, like, in that big cutscene that was Lado's intro, like, he actually died then, like, that was when he was mortally wounded. And then Striker's just gone, well, I don't have to tell anybody. But yeah, his aim was like, I'm gonna fight by your side. Yeah, and so come back to me and come back to the place you helped defend. Come back to goddamn Gargantia. And Amy. And then later like this is Striker's like this is bullshit. Look out, Amy. Alright. And here's Rajit, who's uh, calling on all the people of Gargantia to lend her their strength and uh, help her help them. And then everybody gives a, gives a big old cheer. And everyone's like, nice work, Rajit. Let's show you what uh, Fairlock's key's for. And here we go. And um, they say it's uh, some real old tech that was said to have been used to cleanse this land from its past sins. And it's also said to be capable of destroying the world permanently. So, you know, think about it before you use it. Power up, let's go. Use the bullshit. He's 
like, what the heck, the hook, but the... And then the chamber's like, oh, it looks like uh, the uh, like the green, stupid, shitty, glowy nanomachines have just been controlled and depowered all of the, like, drained all energy from those th things. Like, yep, turns out that it's like, it's like, was it the white doll? Nope, is that blue here coming? Yeah, so it turns out the Gargantua fleet, like, all the nanomachines everywhere, like, they're theirs. They just haven't used it or done anything ever, but it makes you think. So we show up and it's like, hell yeah, nice work. It's like, okay, yeah, nice work, you did it. Yo, Amy, get the fuck out of here before you die. So she comes back. Like, nice work, Gargantia dudes have got some special bullshit. Yeah, turns out they got some real good nano machines. And then Lauren's like, that power, it's like the white doll's moonlight butterfly. But yeah, we're all here to help this dude out and follow Amy because she loves you, dude. And then some of the Galaxy Colors and Brera. Brera's just being a robot man. Like, dang it, it's Kurgle. But Chambers a pilot support system. He's like, yeah, this is Kurgle. It's uh, he's dead. Uh, the interface system is taken over, and then Chamber says, Yep, Strike X, you're meant to be a pilot interface system. What are you doing? It's like, I don't require a pilot. I've become my own user. It's like, what the heck? It's like, yeah, I've become my own user. Kurgle didn't use it properly. Yeah, look, here he even says, User. Yeah, he's become his own user, and uh, he's developed a bit of a god complex, just a little one. And uh, Chamber is here to support humans and definitely not cooperate with someone who would be a human's false god. And uh, Chamber uh, tells later, this sort of sad case has happened before and it can happen again whenever the person charting a course fails both themselves and the system supporting them. So Striker must be destroyed immediately. Uh, must the consequences of mistake go any further? And uh, Chamber says uh, that as someone who's retained and even enhanced his humanity in this foreign land, Lado has proven himself an excellent humanitarian. And that isn't lost on his partner, Chamber. So, let's go, Lado, Chamber. Yep, mm -hmm, let's go. We're gonna get him. Nice work, everybody. Stage we get another ranker point and an extra one if Alto's the one that shoots down Brera, but I really don't give a shit. Could not give it less of a hoot. Does the Geki love heart? To the dream? Power to the dream! It's it! How he died in the cockpit? Uh, he defended um, Lado from getting ultra murdered.
You were like, oh, yeah, it is now, but that's not what killed him. What killed him was getting, like, totally murdered by Hideas. Not sure that Far can actually murder one of these guys. Let's give him the old soft him up. Yeah, that's definitely soft enough for Far. When it happened um, over six months ago, according to like when Lado woke up, like that scene happened six months before we woke Lado up, well before Chamber woke Lado up. Yep, six months, that's what they said. attack moves, he has the gun, and then he has he uses weird little shield drone things to squash him while he hits them. They're not very cool, they're very strong, but they're not very well animated. The SL point is uh, clear the map in seven stages and have one person have like a million kills or five or whatever. Yeah, clear the map within seven turns and at least one pilot with five kills. Which isn't an issue because Rackage already got that. Yeah, like she already got six, so. Fucking can't hit that 
turns out a robot man's pretty good at piloting his plane. So Alta vs. Brera. Brera, this time I swear I'll stop you. It's impossible. Your techniques will avail you not against a perfect soldier. Too early for you to be acting like the winner. My wings will blow away the fog enveloping these waters. Ranka believes in me just as much as she believes that you'll come back. I'll do this for her. You could have guessed that uh, an AI going rogue trying to do a sky. It's not trying to do a sky, is it? That's not what it's trying to do. Trying to murder humans? Yeah, but that's not just what Skynet's trying to do, is it? Like it's if if that's what if that's all you think Skynet is about is trying to murder humans, and if that's like what you reduce this to, then yes, if you reduce both of them to a single thing, yes, I guess it is like that. But also, I guess it's like RoboCop because it's also like not a person anymore. So you know, I guess it's like the regular Terminator in the you know, it w it's a robot. Yeah, Robocop shot a lot of people. He did a Skynet. He's Skynet. Anyone who ever wants to murder humans is a Skynet. That's the new definition. Like, its primary goal isn't murdering humans. Its primary goal is getting rid of uh, Hideas and shit and being a good boy and setting up a new human alliance. Like, it, like, Skynet is the eradication of all human, uh, like, all human life. This guy isn't doing that. So it's not, like, Skynet at all, really. Good at dodging, it turns out. It's got like an extra little booster pack, but it's not like I don't believe it's connected in the middle. Actually, it might be connected on the middle, but it's not like a little plane that flies around or does like that. Um,
Mega, there's a picture of his thing. It's just a little booster pack. Like, um... Like, this guy has... well, actually, this guy doesn't have his... he just loses all his attacks when he's not in fucking space, doesn't he? Uh, but yeah, it's just like when those guys have the super parts on, they have them on their wings, he just goes on his little butt. This boy laying down in the sky. What a good boy. That day, straight up, just yep. Oh, I need that. They're nice. 
takes his Antares as well, retreating. Altos Berra goes after him. Altos out of Tommy's like, Ranker's gonna be real upset if you stop being a sh don't stop being a shithead. So quit it. So, but, so he gets through to him just a little bit. Bust through him, Ranker. He's like, that's right, Berra. Remember all your bullshit. Like, you can overcome your implants, you've done it before. Ranker! And then Brasile's like, yep, here we go! Oh, I don't know, Yeah, it's like, it's like, yours, I'm Brasile. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's go! And then he shows that listen to my song! Ranker! It's like, oh, Basara's song is getting through. Whoa, Basara is seeing like I'm re like it's producing his song is producing fold waves. Holy shit, it's going through the system and it's getting through to Brera. Hell yeah, that's right. Do it, uh, Ranka, Cheryl. Okay, uh, it's up to us, brother. And he's like, and he's like, dang it, my heart's warming up. And then Basara's like, hell yeah, do listen to your heart. It's good. It's like that's right. This dude's like, oh. And then he flips around, he's like, I'm, what is this? It's like, you listen, this it, very you good? He's like, hell yeah! I'm feeling good. Ranka's song is the, yeah, Ranka's the most precious thing he's had, and her songs uh, free him from the curse. And then Luca's like, hell yeah, Fold Wave's good, very under the system, he's like, I'm feeling alright now. Let me back you up, dude. Hell yeah, let's do it. Bonk. And Stryker doesn't understand this at all. Um... As far as Stryker is concerned, uh, the joy of soldiers lies nowhere but in obedience to orders. And uh, Lado is like, that's exactly what Lado experienced uh, at the hands of some of the in the Alliance. And it neglects the fact that soldiers are humans, first and foremost. And what's got Lado all upset uh, is that they're not the... Um, this is because he believed in, believed in, or hid himself behind. Is all the work of some machine? It's that he didn't have the insight to see past it. But I want these guys to, like, get that dude. So, Noriko's not doing shit just yet. Like a, a soldier derives happiness by obeying his orders and fulfilling his mission. Anything else is unnecessary. The life of a soldier is something the Galactic Alliance imposed on every one of its people. Wait, no, where's this one? Like, this is where he mentions Amy and Gargantia. Like, this is... Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, it's pointless to resist, maybe, but a reason why I can't step down. Letting you go would put the fleet in danger, but Amy and Babel in danger. I will at least stop that from happening. <laughs> so I got those little light like, machine. That is little cheeky face. The old I am Patriot. <laughs> Yeah, like these guys have like three different things they say, but Anybody else say anything to him? Uh, yes, these these jokers talk. Um, Alto, uh, men and machines are on the same level. Neither can be more than just people. And I'll prove it. This regular human's about to beat you. And then Brera, if he thought it, like, forgive me, Ranka. I thought uh, to protect you, but instead only caused you worry. But I swear, I'll never make you cry again. What a good boy, what a good brother, what a wonderful dude. <laughs> 
動きを合わせれば当たれ<笑>ダメージ増加戦術パターンを再構築これは負けられない戦いなんだから一気に距離を詰める Poor little robot. Like four percent as tall as Gunbuster, splatted, roasted, drangled. Basically, step the air like, but a two-footed drop kick like a bug. So it is like without a pilot, this is bullshit. It's like Striker and Kurgle. They're incredible with the program. Like they can't, like we can't win. So Lado here orders Chamber to maximize, initiate Noro Plus powered mode, which. Uh, I mean, he's going to turn into a monkey, but we'll see. Uh, and Chamber is like, I can't do that. Uh, unsupported cybernetic linkage is suicidal. But I don't, I don't care, I'm going to do it. As final penance uh, for what their society's creation has nearly done to this world. And this isn't their home. And they have no means of going back, so better to end it all here for a just reason. At least. So, uh, Chamber asks him once more, uh, does he want to die? And Lado says, uh, that's the problem. He knows how to die, but he doesn't know how to live. And, um, yeah, and he says, uh, uh, he says it would have been nice to hear the voice of uh, the one who wanted him to live once more. Then Chamber is like, well, uh, I currently judge you uh, psychologically unfit for combat and are ejecting you from the cockpit. So. It's like, what the hell, Chamber? And then, uh. He says, I am the pilot interface system. His whole purpose in life is to ensure Lado's greatest success. So no, oh my wa. But that's your.